everyone, this is Mei Yu and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Last week I did part 2 of my famous character's gender bin challenge. Thank you for all your support with your likes, subscribes, and shares. Today I'm going to challenge myself to use just simple school supplies to do three different works of art. The school supplies I'll be using include an HP pencil, five highlighters, and one ballpoint pen. This is the first time I'm going to use all these items in a Fun Friday video, so let's see how they'll turn out and let me know which one's your favorite. My goal for this video is to just use simple school supplies to make each complete work of art from start to finish without using any other materials. For the first artwork, I'll be using just one HB pencil. Here I'm drawing something realistic. Usually I use artist pencils for drawing because I feel HB pencils are a bit too hard. I prefer using softer pencils for the drawings I normally do. However, I'm eager to see how this challenge would turn out. HP Pencil's lead is light compared to some dark artist pencils. To get the dark shading for the eye, I had to really press down on the pencil. I felt my hand was easily getting tired. So far, I was happy I was able to get some variety in the shading. After a while, my hand and wrist was quite sore. It was really fun to draw the stripes. I think the pencil strokes made the stripes look furry, which I liked. I chose to draw a tiger because I love big cats. They're among my favorite wild animals. What are your favorite animals?
While I was drawing my tiger, I kept going back to the stripes and other darker areas to layer the pencil lines for more depth. If I was using artist pencils, I would use darker pencils for the stripes and shadows. That would save some time and work. I really enjoyed shading the mouth. I like how I did the darks and lights. If you haven't already, you might like to see how I did a Crayola vs Copic marker challenge in this video. Now my hand looks like an artist's hand. I'm happy how my drawing turned out. For my second challenge, I'll be using only highlighters to create an artwork. For this challenge, I wanted to create something that was inspired by bold pop art. Something different. I felt this would work well with the bright highlighters I had. I used my yellow highlighter to start drawing a cute but worried looking fellow. At this point, I was thinking how to maximize these bright highlighters to make an interesting image. While I was coloring the pug, I left some yellow lines so those details won't get lost. As I was coloring with these highlighters, I found out it was a little challenging to layer colors sometimes because the tips were quite different from the artist markers I'm used to. To get darker colors, I layered blue with the pink for the dark areas of the pug.
I like the contrast between the purple and the yellow. To make the wrinkles look deeper, I used my orange highlighter. At first I thought I would use all five highlighters, but as I went along, I only used four. I liked how it turned out just with the four highlighters. Do you know which color I didn't use? Now I'm going to make a drawing with just one ballpoint pen. I wanted to see how long the ink would last. For this drawing, I really had to control the pressure of the ballpoint pen. At first, I used it to lightly sketch out what I wanted. It's challenging because I couldn't erase the pen line, so whatever I drew stayed. I wanted to make this drawing more realistic. To help make this happen, I had to rely on shading. It was a lot of fun doing the shading and making this drawing look more dimensional. I decided to give her a beautiful rose. I think this makes her look romantic and classy. Here I'm adding more details to the hair by drawing the different groups of hair.
I took my time to shade the hair. It's really relaxing for me. I like how I made different tones for a shiny look. Just out of curiosity, do any of you like drawing with ballpoint pens? Please share in the comments. This took a few hours to do. My hand was getting a little tired at the end. In case you haven't yet, you can see my $1 ballpoint pen challenge on an airplane. I hope you enjoy this video. I used just the one ballpoint pen. When my drawing was done, it still had a lot of ink. This drawing took the longest, but I'm happy how she turned out. Which one was your favorite? Please share in the comments below. And thank you for supporting Art and my Fun to Draw channel with your likes, subscribes, and by sharing my videos with your friends and social media. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you again real soon.